Hello and welcome back to Glenn Small Engine in Greenville, Texas, home of the free repair videos for outdoor power equipment. In this video we're going to be testing the ignition coil. I get a lot of calls for this. Uh, how do I check my coil uh, over and over? So this video is for you. If you think your ignition coil is bad, uh, we're going to test that and check it. And, and uh, hopefully by the end of this video you'll know how to check yours. While you're here, look around. I have other repair videos. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be something there you like. Reach down there and hit that subscribe button. That just lets me know that you like my videos and you'll like to see more. Get started here. First of all, we got three screws on the top, five sixteenth screws. We're gonna pull this blower housing off. Uh, you can call it a blower housing or a starter, either one. Got a big piece of black plastic on top of the engine. Everybody calls it something different. Okay. Right here is our ignition coil to our spark plug. Over here is our kill wire. This wire here, you want to unplug that so you can test the coil. Because if you're not getting fire, we want to isolate this coil. This wire goes over here to the brake for the handle up there. When you release that bail, it grounds out this wire and kills the coil. So. To test this coil, you need that unplugged. So we're going to go ahead and pull the plug out too to make it easier for the engine to spin over and it's safer. Always pull the plug out because we don't want, with that kill wire unhooked, it's just not safe to pull the engine over with the plug in it. Alright, there's our spark plug. It looks pretty good although I don't like these little cheap 79 cent Walmart spark plugs we'll be replacing that okay what we're going to do now is we have our little spark tester uh, you can use an old plug and open up the gap sign uh, I'll show you we'll do it both ways here's a regular spark checker we hook one end of it into the coil lead, the other end of it's got to be grounded. I'm just going to put two screws back in it because uh, we just want to spin the engine over here. Okay, so now I'm going to roll the engine over. See fire. Okay, if you don't have one of these spark testers here, which a lot of people don't have one, you can take the spark plug. You want to open that up about, we're going to throw this plug away so it don't matter, but you want to open that up about 3 sixteenths of an inch. It takes a lot more force to make this plug spark under compression, so that's why we want to open that up out here. So I'm going to put this in here, and this this has to be grounded. The safest thing to do is to, to ground this with another ground wire. You can, if, some, if somebody's brave enough to hold this right here for you, you can check it that way. But this is the way I like to do it. Okay, as you can see from our test here that this coil is good. Uh, it fired with my fire tester that I use in the shop and it, it fired on this make new fire tester. Now, now remember you want to open that gap up because you need it to jump a little further out there for the coal to be good. That coal has to work harder to fire that plug under compression. So that's why we want it to jump that wider gap out here like this. So we're going to go ahead and put the kill wire back up and put it back together. I hope this video helped you. I hope it saves you some money. Uh, if you like this video, reach down there and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know when I put something new out. Stay tuned for more repair videos. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.